This is my 1968 Schwinn Orange Crate. I purchased this uh, back in the late 90s. Uh, I've had it on display at my house since. Thought maybe I, I owned one when I was when I was a kid, so really trying to buy back a piece of my childhood. But time has come to say goodbye to it as I thin out my collection and. Uh, This is it. I believe it's all original, except for the um, the rear brake shoes, which I put on. Got the original seat here. You can see it. it's yellow. It has a couple cracks in it. I see some bikes for sale. They, the seats aren't yellowed. They're obviously reproductions, because then the, all the 50-year-old seats that were white are yellowed. Chrome is in very good shape. Everything seems to work fine on it. See, we have the normal chips and whatnot in the paint. The chain guard is really good. It has it has a couple of uh, chips and scratches in it, but overall, it's in very very good shape. For a 50 year old bicycle. It has the original um, rear tire on it, the orange stripe. It's got a 68 date code on it, that tire. Uh, the bike is, the serial number is in FD. It's a 1968 date code. It has the pogo seat here. Which I understand was only only um, put on these bikes for a short period of time in '68 before they changed to a solid post. Everything everything seems to work as it should. Nothing's locked up or frozen. The original paddles on it. I have an aftermarket seat for it, um, which I had put on when I was displaying it. And I also have a complete front fender setup, which I had also had on. I mean, some people like the front fender. The, the one I had when I was a kid was a later model. It did have the front fender, so I, um, I purchased a fender to, uh, to put on it. Uh, I've, I've taken that off in the uh, repro seat. And... I'm going to include them in the sale, um, just so you, you have them. If you want to put them on, you can. If your kids want to ride it, I would definitely recommend changing the seat so it um, doesn't get any more um, tears in it or anything like that. The handlebars, they got some you know scratches in them on the top. Pretty much the normal stuff you expect to see. I also have a, a new rear tire for it and a front tire. Uh, these are the original, but I have the other ones that I will include in the sale. Um, I bought them because I thought maybe I could drive it or my kids would actually be interested in riding it, but after couple times around the driveway they no longer had interest and at 6'3", 235 I'm, I'm just way too big to actually drive this. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'm going to include in the sale a reproduction seat, a front fender setup, um, and two new pieces of rubber, the front and rear. Feel free to ask me any questions. I'll answer them the best I can. I'm not a bike expert. Um, I'm just a collector of lots of old things. I, I think whoever buys this should just leave it alone, leave it in the condition it is. Um, it, 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 
the, the chips in the paint you could touch them up but to me that that's just part of the bike's history you know some kid got this new in 68 and and drove it and that is the patina that is left on the bike that's the character all right that's 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 it i think i pretty much covered it thank you and whoever buys it i i hope you enjoy it as much as i have for the last uh 20 years <laughs>